Welcome to the following presentation from American Personal Consumption Tobacco Growers Association, APC TGA. We are reviewing making cigarettes using the zigzag hand cigarette making machine. It is really a fairly simple basic machine consisting of three main parts. The base, which also contains the metal spoon that is usually a movable part in the electric injector type machines. However, in this machine, when the top, the slidable top, is over the base, the tobacco chamber is right over the spoon. Now we load the chamber with the heaping tablespoon of tobacco and tap it down with the plastic tool provided and moving the tobacco towards the end which would be the end of the cigarette that would be lit and then on the other end on the left hand side I'm pushing down the tobacco in the, the part of the cigarette where the filter will be and in this part you want to put a sufficient amount of tobacco here and tap it down and push it forward until it enters the opening where the cigarette will actually be. When I'm doing this without demonstrating, I, I will already have the cigarette here, so any tobacco that goes all the way into the opening would go right into the cigarette. If you don't push the tobacco forward here, after you make the cigarette, you'll find an empty area between the filter and when the tobacco begins. And you really don't want that, so it's important to remember to push some tobacco forward into the opening where the paper tube will be attached. Now on this machine, the tube is grabbed by when the top is closed down, and it's grabbed right at the top. So I, I'm marking this paper tube with a pencil. I don't do this every time I make a cigarette. I'm just demonstrating that this is the place where you want the two paper ends meet, the thickest part of the tube. You want that on the top where it will be grabbed when the top of the machine is clamped down. So now with the tube on and the tobacco chamber filled, put top over the base, Remember, you are holding the, the paper tube here, so you want to push down on the top at this point so that the tube won't become loose and just pushed away. Then you slide the top back, and by doing this, you're pulling the tube over the spoon, placing the tobacco in the paper tube, and then when you return the top to the original position, and open it up, voila, the tobacco is out of the chamber and into the paper tube. A few taps, and you have a cigarette. It works rather well, and for a machine to make cigarettes that cost less than $10, it's something everyone should have. Thanks for watching, and be sure to look for more presentations from American Personal Consumption Tobacco Growers Association, APC TGA.